welcome to another Nerd Block versus Loot Crate, where epic battles ensure, or ensure, ensure, well, whatever. And Sue. And Sue. That's why she's mad. <laughs> or, I'm, okay. All right. Now, after this video, we will, I will talk about how you can have chances to win free Steam games, but after that, first we're going to go ahead and open to our epic battles. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So, what are you going to pull out first? Mm. Methinks I'm going to pull out this interesting looking X bug. Okay. I'm going to pull out this interesting uh, drum and ideas. She's got a hex bug. I have a drum set. Just what you need. Exactly, make a noise. Okay, oh, it's pencils. <laughs> it's pencils with little drum heads so you can like go drumming anywhere you want by. With a little notebook where you can write your ideas. Drums it. Okay, and included with the hex plug, you get replace batteries, you get an instruction pamphlet, and you get a hex bug. Ours is orange. Orange, because it's the only color you cannot rhyme with. Unless you're talking about a fruit. Because the color orange and an orange fruit will rhyme. Orange and orange. No, Very tasty fruit, by the way. And juice. Sorry. Uh, work it. Okay. Okay. He's free. So, between the drum set that doesn't really do drums there, but you can yeah. With no pads? Yeah, they're racers. With no pad? To write. Versus the hex bug. Which is awesome and yeah. I will get a kick out of watching the cats in this. Yeah, we'll we're we'll probably gonna have a video where the cats chase that yep. around. So I'm gonna say the hex bug, so Luke Crate gets a point. Mm and by the way, again during the price, the nerve block is point nine 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 after shipping everything. Loot Crate's about $19. Loot Crate's going to get a free point for being cheaper. Nerd Block got here quicker this time around, so we're going to give a point to Nerd Block. Because even with the snow, they didn't stop the Nerd Block. It got here quickly. The snow slain, reet, reet, sleet, sleet, ice. Ice did not stop the Nerd Block. It just kept on chugging. So, yeah. But this is going to be another point for Loot Crate. Okay. <clears throat> uh, but this is kind of cool. It is cool. It is pretty cool. And I like that it's a bigger pad, so if you wanted to draw something, you could. Could draw. So. I like the drumsticks because I can play drums everywhere. Okay. Okay. So, I'm going to say we're going to do figure heads versus each other, the vinyls. Okay. Okay. We have here a Breaking Bad vinyl figurine. With it. It's saw? No, I don't think it's saw. I, think, I, I don't know Breaking Bad people as often. 
I have not watched that show that often. Was that there? Saul. I was right. I was right. It was Saul. Even when I did not, I, I should never question myself. I, 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 I am learning not to question myself. I am usually correct. Except for when she's right or wrong, she's always right. And that works because I'm really getting, getting in. I'm now getting into Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul because those are very good shows. But, but yeah, it, it said Saul on the front, and apparently I did not see that, and I'm just questioning myself. So what is yours? I've got a Money World Money vinyl art figure. Uh, it includes three wipe-off markers, and I've, I've seen these before, and I really like them because you can draw on them. Uh, so, I mean, it's just awesome. And you can do different kinds of mediums on them, and just make it your own. So I will definitely take advantage of that. Okay. Yeah. Open okay. Cool. Yeah, I'm opening mine. Mine even comes with a mug. World's greatest lawyer mug. See if you can hold on to it. Okay. So we got the world's greatest lawyer mug. Is uh, there we go? Uh, and he can drink. <laughs> hey, he's got a drink. Just like an airplane, he has a drinking problem. And if you know the reference, I'm talking about an airplane. And if you don't, just go away. You know where he, uh, he says he has a drink problem. He just pours a he goes a drink. He pours a drink on him. So, because okay. that's not really aiming for his lips. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so the. Money figures, off and out here. It looks like this, and its head and arms are articulated, and it has a itty big tail on the back, and it comes with a black, red, and blue marker to customize it however you want. I really, really like that. Now I, I kind of like saw with a mug. So I'm gonna vote for a point for nerd block. Which one do you think? As much as I like the money, I'm gonna go with nerd block too because better call Saul and break yeah, the Yeah, it's got a lot of detail. Even has an earpiece. Yeah. I wish I had an earpiece. <laughs> so we're gonna do cards okay. versus cards. We have nerd play cosplay trading cards. Cosplay trading cards. I have no idea what's in here. I don't even know if it's a game. If it's a game, it's pretty cool. So, you can go. Okay. Uh, in Loot Crate, we got a Super Fight The Loot Crate deck. This is a 100 card version of the viral ga card game Super Fight, designed exclusively for Loot Crate. Create Excuse me. Exclusively for Loot Crate by Skybound. These cards are only available in this exclusive deck. Create hilarious fighters with these cards, then argue over who would win in a fight between them. I've seen this before. Oh yes, I have too. It's that game. Yes. And we got a little mini one. Mhm. Mm yeah, we're going to play it. Okay, I figured out what these are. These are cosplay cards. They are basically trading cards of the famous cosplayers. You know, I don't know all the people here. I'm actually looking for some of the ones I do know. But, yeah, there's just trading cards where you get to collect cosplays of them in different cosplays. But, I've heard of this game. Yeah. It's basically, it's a pretty cool game where you, as she says, you have to get your cards and you have to discuss who would win in the battles between it and then have, but it's not a two player game. You have to have like a team, like a group of people, yeah. which we're probably going to find a group of people to play that Oh way. yeah. I'm going to vote for Loot Crate on this one. Me too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm curious about what is in here. It's a little black bag, a little black drawstring bag. And I'm curious what's in here. It's a little bag that says exclusive item, shirt punch variant. Ooh. Zombie dice. No, that's not zombie dice. What is it? Rock, paper, scissors dice. That is cool. Okay. So these are rock, paper, scissors dice. It's rock. 
paper, scissors, and obviously you roll the die, so it's like playing rock, paper, scissors. But with die. This is a bracelet of some sort, or a thing that you can shape in different things. I'm trying to see if they're unconnectable or not. They're not, but maybe a bracelet. Twist your imagination. You can make different shapes with them and make different shapes and items with them. It's kind of cool. It's something just to kind of play with. You know, it'll probably take tons of attention and time yeah. to... So it's like something you keep at your desk whenever you're bored and... I do not, I do not condole <laughs> playing with this while you're supposed to be working. If you do it, you do it at your own risk. That's pretty cool, but I'm going to probably say the dice. Yeah, the dice. The dice, the dice, the dice wins. Yeah, the dice. Yeah. Now, Loot Crate does not look like he's got a shirt this week. Uh, no. So you got to choose something to go against a shirt. And this is a flash sickle shirt. Flash sickle. That is really, really cute. It even has future costume ring inside. Whoa, whoa, whoa where's my ring? Oh, I got another one of these weird yep. open things. I don't see no ring. Oh, it's like an advertisement. But, but I said I want a ring! I know, we'll get you a ring. Okay, she says she'll get me a ring. Here we go. Got a nice flash sickle. Shirt. It's a popsicle with flash. It tastes electrifying. So what do you got to go against a shirt? I have a piece of paper. Piece of paper versus a shirt. Well, it's not the piece of paper that counts. It's what's on the piece of paper that counts. True. That is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. That is being hung up in the game room. Okay. It is like a Pac-Man cartridge with Pac-Man game playing in the cartridge. Interesting? I think so. Interesting. But does it beat the shirt? Um, no, I don't think it beats the shirt. <laughs> nah, shirts, shirts are pretty cool. It, it is a pretty cool shirt. Another point for another block. Now, I've gotten another one of these, and it is exactly the same thing as that, it's just different colors. Oh, I like that one. Yeah. Oh, it matches the Yeah. Here, let's see if I can do a heart. Because I almost got a heart done. I got a mutated heart. But yeah, you can make little items out of it. I'll put those two as one. Okay. Yeah. What do you have? Uh, it is a book called Ready Player One. Let's see if I can find... Overview. Well, while she looks at that, we have another Star Wars comic book. Oh, I found this. Star Wars comic book. Duh. I like this. Okay. So I found the overview, and this book is called Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. <clears throat> In the year 2044, reality is an ugly place. The only time teenager Wade Watts really feels alive is when he's jacked into the virtual utopia known as the Oasis. Wade's devoted his life to studying the puzzles hidden within the world's digital confines. Puzzles that are based on their creator's obsession with the pop culture of decades past and that promise massive power and fortune to whoever can unlock them. But when Wade stumbles upon the first clue, he finds himself beset by players willing to kill to take, his ult to take this ultimate prize. The race is on, and if Wade's going to survive, he'll have to win and confront the real world he's always been so desperate to escape. Why confront the real world? It doesn't say. You would probably have to read the book to find it. So it's a full-on book? Yes. Like a storybook? Yes. That is all. 
Okay. But does it beat a Star Wars comic? Yes. Because it's a real it's book. It has 372 pages. So it will take more time to read. But this is Star Wars. This is like Star Wars. This is a Star Wars comic. Stuff that you do not see in the movies. It's like extra story. You know. Uh, it's Star Wars. Star Wars is better than that because I don't know who this guy is. It's a He's a screenwriter, spoken word artist, and full time geek. Oh, the guy who writes the book. I was talking yeah. about the guy in the book, the story <laughs> about him. I don't know who he is. Okay? And the whole virtual reality versus reality has done so many times. Movies? Star Wars. Well, that will take longer to read. I'll, I'll submit and say your book gets the point. For Loot Crate. There is the Loot Crate Pet, Loot Crate Pet Pin. I can't talk today. Uh, for February 2015, and this month's theme was play. We got a card that's talking about the bend me, twist me, shape me. Click me contest. Get creative. Show us the cool shapes you can make with your click cores to win. So basically, whoever gets the craziest, coolest shapes will win. So this is a picture of your greatest click core shape for your chance to win a new a nerd block and a Katura prize, including exclusive click tour products. Hmm. It's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, this is just a paper. Um, about some kind of Firefly something or other. I I'm never watched Firefly, so I don't really know what it's about. Um, and then we got <clears throat> this month's magazine thing in the jigger. And apparently, with this month's loot crate, it is a board game for crate packing. Crate packing simulator 2015, and it comes with game instructions. And you are supposed to use the rock, paper, scissor dice. Um, and in the back of the magazine, it has little punch outs. So you can play the board game. So the whole thing is a board game, the whole crate. Yes. I I'm sorry, we're going to have to give Blue Crate an extra point for that because that's just pretty, pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Yeah, we can play and I'm going to win. You think so, huh? I know so. I think I am. <laughs> so is there anything else? Nope, that is it. Alright. So who do you think should have won this last battle? Leave comments below. And if you want a chance to win Steam games, under the description is a Twitter account. Follow that Twitter account for random winnings on Steam games. And if you'd like to watch some of the in the mind of the mad scientist, you can click up to the right. You want to watch our last Nerd Block versus Loot Crate Bell? Click to the left. Please subscribe.